In this video, we are going to be doing the diecast license plates by the amazing Mike Lane. So here we go. So this is what we get in the kit. Look at that. Look how absolutely gorgeous these license plates are. So what happens here is we attach a magnetic fixing sticky plate onto it, and then we can interchange all of these plates whenever we like. So we'll just quickly open up the packaging just so you can see what comes inside. So we might just leave those out like that. I recommend doing this before you put anything on the roof uh, because you, if you have the bumpers already on, you will need to turn it upside down just to undo two little screws just to put these in place. But if you have already done all that, it's going to just be a little bit more of a tear down uh, to do this type of thing. So, right, so let's have a look. So this is showing you the plates here. So it says front plates, the front plates have their fixings positioned at the bottom. So it shows you here where the positions at the bottom are, so you don't get them wrong. And then it says the rear plates, the rear plates have the fixings positioned at the top. So as long as you see the two dots at the top, you know that on the rear, that you will be putting the back plates on and at the front, then you have the dots at the bottom. So there you go. So let's have a look at these. So we have the normal Ecto-1 rear license plates. So have a look at those. So nice, crisp and new. And then on the other side, we have the kind of worn, maybe almost rusty looking ones, which are just there, depending on what ones you want to put on. And then we have the commercial ones, which are just here, which also come as part of the kit. So how cool are they? And these are metal made as well. So they're really, really nice. So if we open this up, if you want the instructions to do these, you can find them uh, on Mike Lane's page. But guys, um, it just says permanent fixing is here. And then basically you just use the magnetic fixings, which I'll show you in one moment. Let's get these out. So. What we're going to do is we're just going to turn the model around. We're going to remove the rear plate first and we're going to do that one. And then we'll come back in just a sec. As you can see here, guys, this is the rear plate just there. And they are held in with two screws on the back here. So what we're going to do, we're just going to quickly remove those two screws. Take them out. That's one. And two. So once they're out of place, you should just be able to take the number plate off of there like so. Once you have removed the rear plate, what you need to do next is you just need to take one of these and then you just need to fix it onto here. Obviously you want to make sure it's on there nice and straight. So do make sure you do that right. And then you will be able to stick your number plates to the magnetic strip. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm, I know I need to be facing you, but I need to face it towards me just to make sure I get this on straight myself. So you just need to peel the back, as you can see there. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to line it up nice and neat. And then we're going to make sure it's nice and straight in the middle there. And then we're just going to push it down. And then that will cover up those two holes that were there. And then we'll grab the plates that came in it. So I'm just going to put the nice ones on. You can change them up to whatever ones you want. And if you remember, it tells you on the instructions here, what ones go where. So the rear ones will be with the bits at the top and then the front ones will be with the little bits at the bottom. So we want to take out one of these like so. And then as you can see on the back, they're nice and flat. And then you need to stick one of these to the back of your plate. As you can see, they fit on there nice and straight. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. Real quick. And then that will stick on there like so. And then now you can put your plate over the top so it sticks in place just like that. I know it's upside down, which isn't convenient. Uh, but we will turn it around the other way. But when you want to take them off, then all you have to literally do is just pull them off. 
and then they come away to put them back on you just put them on and they're perfect as long as you put them on straight you're fine so we're going to spin it around the other way and then we're going to do it on the other side as well so we're going to just quickly spin it around as you can see here we have a rector one plate just in there so we just need to just remove that with taking out two screws again which we're going to go ahead and do now nice and easy to do so just pop that down there and take out the second one And then we tap this, then the plate will come out, as you can see there. And with these ones, these should have holes cut out for them where they go. So you shouldn't be able to get them wrong. Make sure they're on the right way. So as you can see there, they line up with the holes. So what we need to do is Take the sticky back plastic off and then pop these into place, making sure they cover the holes nicely. And push it down like so. And then we just need to take our plate. If you remember again, so the front plates have them at the bottom. So we need to make sure we choose one that has it at the bottom. Take the plate out. And then we need to take off the sticky back. Just like so. Stick that to the back of the plate nice and neatly, as straight as we can. Like that. And then that plate will just stick in there like so all magnetic like that so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip it around the other way and just show you again real quick and then we can stick stuff to the back of these ones as well so we can show you how interchangeable they really are guys if you are looking to use the permanent fixings they are the ones that you will use if you don't want the magnetic and you just want to stick those on and have them but just remember you won't be able to interchange if you go ahead and do that so just make sure you bear that in mind when you are permanent fixing these on so that is non-magnetic that's just permanent fixing so they are the options that you get but then you can't change them over because you would have to peel them off and then restick them and it will just not work so but just bear that in mind just thought i'd let you know that okay guys so as you can see the car is now around the right way you have to excuse the tape and everything because we are still building this model uh, and as you can see you can just remove these plates uh, as easy as anything just by peeling them off because they're now magnetic and then if we wanted to we could put any plate on that we like so that's the uh, commercial one there as you can see looks really nice if we want to take that one off and then we've got the rusted one so that one is there and then that has now got the magnet up magnet on the back cool so that will just pop into there like that look how cool that is absolutely fantastic so guys if you are going to go grab yourself a set of these yourself from mike lane's website make sure you go and type in this so that is die cast license plates that will bring up the ones that you want to get uh, they do come with the instruction manuals i seem to have misplaced mine so if you want to know how uh, you can obviously just contact mike lane but or just watch this video because it's pretty simple on how to do them he makes all of these mods really nice and easy for anybody to do so there you go but like i said i recommend installing these when you've got a bumper off or when you don't have the stuff on the top that you have to turn it upside down or take the top part of the chassis off the bottom part of the chassis or say the frame from the chassis because it's going to be a lot difficult to do it that way. Um, make sure you go check him out. So thanks very much for watching this video. I really hope you liked it as much as I do enjoy building all these and doing all these mods because it's just so incredible. 
uh, how we get to put together such an iconic car and then these little touches these little mods are just what make it special so there you go thanks for watching and see you guys on the next one take care now bye bye